Welcome to the DevOps Lab. Today, we have a very special guest, Frank Boucher, who's going to be walking us through ARM templates, talking about variables, and just dropping goodness on ARM for us. Welcome to the DevOps Lab. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Frank Boucher, who's going to walk us through ARM templates, and specifically, we're going to be talking about variables. How's it going, Frank? Nice, nice. Very happy to continue this uh, ARM learning. Yeah, I am learning so much about ARM templates. I'm loving this. Like last time, we you covered functions for us, and I didn't even know functions existed. And today you wanted to talk variables, right? Yes, it's time to clean up our mess. <laughs> okay, so so our variables, I'm gonna guess they're gonna behave the same way like variables in programming languages? Yeah, similar? exactly. Okay, yeah. can you show us like what you can do with variables? So remember Abel, when we were talking about this, like the, at the beginning, the all the section on our ARM template, we had a section that we didn't touch yet, the variables, and this is where we'll declare variables. So if I go back, this is the last, this is our ARM template, exactly how we left it with our concatenate, you know, unique string. Every time we want to use some function that we create previously, well, it's very long. Now this slime is all cluttered with a lot of information and it could become very complex. It's not very easy to use. So let's try to use variable to simplify this thing. So one thing we can do, and you know what, I will just copy paste so I don't do any typo. Do I have that MD? No, I have it somewhere. <laughs> here it is. We'll just copy from here, go back. This way you won't look at me typing. Mm -hmm. So we'll create two variables. I'm just moving stuff around. So the first variable, if I zoom, I, I name it suffix. And then I pass our unique stream resource group ID. Okay. Well, nothing magic here. And then I will create another resource group called prime storage name. And I'm passing the rest. And I'm using here variable because one of the function inside the NARM template is variables. Just like parameters return all the parameters, variables will return all variables. Mm, okay. So I could do this. And now, instead of all that thing here, oh, I could just do variables, open the parentheses, and now I have my variable prime storage name. Voila. Cool. So much cleaner, right? Yes. That's much easy to, now it's easier. You understand, okay, the name, it's it's easy to understand. And if I change anything here, then I'm fine, everything will follow. So what else could we do? Well, I don't know for you, Abel, but you know, standard LRS, standard ZRS, like you need to know a lot of things to decide which one is good for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could simplify that. So what we can do instead is get rid of this. <laughs> so <laughs> much simpler this way, right? <laughs> okay. We'll replace it by another var another parameter environment. I think it's it's more clear. Are you doing are you in a dev environment or in a prod environment? I think someone who's deploying will understand that and it will be much easier. Sure. And I put the and I put the default value because that's one of the best practice, right? Mm -hmm. So perfect. So now what we want is use what we call t-shirt size. Make make smart choices based on some input. So we'll create a new variable. I'll explain it after I just copy paste it so I don't do any typos. I'll move it up and zoom so we could have a look at it. So I create a new variable called storage info. Mm -hmm. And inside of it, 
Remember, in ARM template, I can have objects. So here I'm just declaring a JSON object with an object dev and an object prod. Mm, okay. Each of these objects have two properties, storage skew and storage tier. So now what we can do is, again, create another variable. I'm doing a lot of layer here just to make it very, very simple when we'll be using it. So let's mm -hmm. jump here. OK. OK, so let's have a look closer to that. So let's just like this. OK, so here in storage skew, I want to define the skew that we'll be using to create a resource. So I'm creating and I'm returning the variable storage info that we create just before, but I want the base on the parent environment. So by default, since dev is the default part, the default value, it mm -hmm. will return this object. Oh right? yes. And now I'm asking him, give me the storage queue of that specific object. So in their in our case, it will be standard. Sorry, like yeah, I should have done like this. <laughs> so standard. So you don't need to know like the very technical stuff. You just say, hey, I want dev environment. I decide what's good for you. And I use the variables all mixing with the function to create what I need. Cool. And I do the same thing for the tiers. It's just, yep. you know, using another property. Yep. And I'm pretty sure you guessed it. For this queue, well, I just need to use it now. So we'll just go in variables, grab my skew, and that's it. And for tier, I just need to delete this square bracket because we want to evaluate variables and storage tier. And there it is. Cool, cool, cool. So I got a, one quick question, or, or, or I yes. just want to make sure I understand this correctly. So variables, I can use variables like I use variables in a programming language. I can use it to store store values. And parameters, parameters, those are the things that we pass into the template. Is that correct from the outside? Exactly. Cool, cool. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, this is really, really neat stuff. Do you have any do you have any best practices or suggestions on the way people use variables? Uh, I would say don't use variables for everything. Use variable when you use a specific value multiple time. Uh, don't use variables for you know those schema on the top. Don't use that for version or stuff like that. Don't use variable for that. But mm -hmm. to, the best thing is if you want a complete list, you should definitely go see the documentation. We should again put the link in the description uh, to show the best practices about that. Absolutely. Wow, this has been great information. Thank you so much, Frank. Variables, it's the more we start talking about the ARM, the more the more this seems like a programming language to me versus just JSON. This is great stuff. Variables are so useful and powerful. Thank you for showing this to us. For more information on ARM templates, check out those links below. Please watch the other episodes on Demystifying ARM series. And of course, join us next time as we dive into more ARM goodness on the DevOps Lab.